So what does the organ at Wrigley Field and a pneumatic thermostat have in common? Hi, this is Eric Stromquist with Control Trends and Stromquist.com. Okay, HVAC Control Pro, this might not be too much useful information, but it might help you want to bet. Before you answer that question, if you're an HVAC Control Pro, you work on pneumatics from time to time. If you haven't, you probably will. So a little background knowledge on pneumatics is not a bad idea. Okay, you can check out our Control Trends Smart Building Controls YouTube channel. There is a section on there, a playlist called HVAC Tech School. And on HVAC Tech School, we have several. We have several videos on how to calibrate pneumatic thermostats and receiver controllers, so be sure to check that out. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do so. Hit the alarm so you can get some updates whenever we put a new video out. Okay, so let's get to, get to answering your question. To answer your question, we have an old friend, Josh Bradshaw. We call him the king of Silicon Valley. And uh, Josh is one of the most unique individuals we've ever met at Control Trends. And uh, he is always innovative, always coming up with some cool stuff. So we're going to have you check Josh out right now. Hey, everybody. This is Josh Bradshaw. And I'm giving a little shout out to my friends and fellow listeners and watchers of the Control Talk Now uh, Smart Building video cast and podcast with Eric Stromquest. Hey, buddy and the man, the myth, the legend, uh, Kenny Smyers. I'm gonna start out with a little question here today. And uh, for those of you not watching the video cast, you might wanna watch the video cast because uh, uh, it's kind of a giveaway what I'm in right now. Uh, what was the first use of pneumatics? I'll give you a second to think. Pneumatics were first patented in 1845 by a French organ builder and here's an organ pipe and I'm coming to you from inside of an organ so let me tell you a little bit about pneumatics uh, so a tube would come from the keyboard into an air pressurized chamber and that tube would come out the bottom of the pneumatic and when the air pressure changed a valve would open and shut to let air into a pipe um, here's a different also a pneumatic from a tubular pneumatic type organ and I'll demo how that would work if there were a pipe with air and, a, and, a, and an organist were hitting the keys. You can see how this can be very responsive for the organist. Uh, so that was tubular pneumatics. They were invented in 1845 by the French organ builder. And we're sitting inside, uh, I'm inside of an electro pneumatic organ from the early 1920s. This one was built by the Austin company. So you can see the electric components, and what would happen is when an organist plays a key, a magnet, electromagnet, is created and pulls the metal down, opening a valve to sound a pipe up above. Of course, this one isn't uh, able to operate because I'm sitting inside of the, what would be the pressurized chamber of air, and then the pipes are, would be sitting above and sounding when the organist played. So there's a little bit of history. So if you have a, a challenge with, or, or want an understanding of pneumatics, uh, well, you can look to their roots, which is pipe organs, uh, and see where tubular pneumatics come from and where electro pneumatics come from. Of course, this is a little bit outside of the box for Josh, who, who <laughs> Eric seems to uh, always call uh, the king of Silicon Valley because I talk to you guys about tech so much. Um, but looking at our roots also helps us understand the future. And uh, so, you know, uh, that's a, a little bit of a tidbit for you uh, about pneumatics and their roots. That's a wrap. <laughs> okay, Josh Bradshaw, thank you so much for that. You can reach Josh at work. Tech Work is his website, or you can find him on Control Trends. We've done several posts with Josh there. All right, hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you can win a couple of bets. All right, HVC Control Pro, we'll see you next time.